very interested. Shh, listen. The mafia, right? This guy owes him fifty thousand dollars. And the mafia boss said, if you don't get that money to us, you're gonna die. He said, but he ain't got the money. How can I get it? He said, get it. He said, by next week? He said, no, tomorrow. He said, well, he, he said, I can't get it. Please. I, I beg of you. Please give tomorrow. So he went home that night, sweating, biting the nails, wondering how he could get together $50,000. He went upstairs, his wife was asleep in bed. He woke her up and he said to her, Honey, I'm in bad, bad trouble. I need the money. I'm so, so nervous that these people, they're going to kill me. And he looked on her hands and she had two rings, diamond rings, what he'd bought her previously. He said to her, Give us them rings. Save my life. She said, No. These are sentimental value. He said, But my life is in danger. I must have the rings. She said, No, you're not getting them. That is it. I don't care about you. They, they can go and kill you. So that night, he suffocated his wife with a pillow. And he was trying to get the rings off the finger. <laughs> Panic. Huh? Couldn't get them off, so he cut the fingers off. So like that. Took the rings to a dealer, got $50,000 of them, paid the mafia back. Twenty years later, he's made a big time again, a big comeback. And he's there in his big mansion. He's got everything. Rolls Royces, women, everything. What that man wants. A knock comes on his door. Why, his wife? Hang on. The wind is blowing. The wind, thunder. I'll do the sound effect. What? So, he opens the door and there's an old lady with a blanket round her and she's shivering. He says, come in out the rain. Don't stand there, come in. Let me make you a drink. Do you want some, do you want some alcohol? He says, she says, no, I don't touch the stuff. He said, well, would you like some coffee? She says, yes, please, that'd be very nice of you. So he made her a coffee and sat her by the fire. And as he gave her the coffee, he noticed the two fingers missing off the hand. No, oh, seriously, listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all the time he's thinking, how oh, come on, she looks him, she looks familiar. Did I get shot of the body? And he puts enough courage up and he says to her, if you don't mind me asking you, he said to her, what happened to your two fingers? And she said, No! <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. If my whole trip to England was just for that, it was worthwhile. <laughs> I'm gonna learn that, go home and have more fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is about all we've got time for. We'll see you soon from all of here.